Hi there, my name is Nancy Eske and I'm the Special Programs Coordinator here at North Fort Myers High School. I'm here to talk to you briefly about the process for applying to the Center for Arts and Media. If you are interested in applying to the Center for Arts and Media, we are happy to offer seven different programs that students can potentially audition for. We have instrumental music or band, orchestra, vocal arts, theater arts, dance, visual arts, and digital media. Each has a unique audition process, the details of which can all be found on our website under prospective students within the arts and media information portal. Once here, if you scroll down, you'll find a brief description of the process along with our North Fort Myers High School view book and each program's track of study. A little bit further up, you can also find additional information about each program and their audition requirements for this year by clicking on the individual tile for the program that you are interested in. If, for example, you are interested in applying to the Center for Arts and Media for Vocal Arts, simply click on the tile for vocal to access a description of the program, audition requirements, and of course, contact information as well. Please review and make sure that you are familiar with the audition process for uh, the program or programs that you are interested in applying and auditioning for. So what are the steps for applying to the Center for Arts and Media? Prior to submitting your application, you must first register your student for high school in the West Zone with the Lee County School District during their open enrollment period. If you are new to the Lee County School District, so this would be for anyone who is either moving from a private or charter school or anyone who might be relocating to Lee County from another county or state and will be attending a Lee County public school for the 2024-25 school year, there is the option to pre-register your child prior to the open enrollment period. This will allow you to create a focused parent portal, rank schools for the upcoming lottery, and submit your special programs application. Information regarding the pre-registration process for all students who are new to the Lee County School District is available on the district's website under student enrollment. And then if you scroll down, there'll be a tile uh, that uh, titled registration for the 2024-25 school year, K through 12. You can click on that and it'll bring up a new page. And once there, you'll find a short video with some additional information. There'll be a list of details that kind of walk you through for whom the pre-registration process is applicable, the benefits of pre-registering your student for high school, uh, the documents that you'll need to gather in order to do so, a link to register online, and then of course, there'll be some information and uh, for you to contact student enrollment if you have any additional questions or concerns. Once you have registered your student for high school, uh, go ahead and complete the special programs application, which will be available via Focus, and you're gonna submit that between Tuesday, January 16th and Friday, January 26th. This single document this year will serve as the application for both of our special programs. So both the Center for Arts and Media, as well as the Cambridge ACE program. So if you only wish to apply for the Center for Arts and Media, please only fill out the information associated with that program. Once you select the Center for Arts and Media and the program that you wish to audition for, you will be directed to a Google form so that you can select your audition dates. Please fill out this Google form in its entirety because this will allow us to schedule auditions and to contact you accordingly. Please make sure to include an email that you plan on checking regularly as email will be the primary form of communication for all audition information. If you wish to apply an audition for two programs, please fill out two separate Google Forms, not separate applications. The link for the Google Form will appear for each program selection you make, and be sure to provide the same contact information, especially your email address, so that we can avoid any confusion regarding your audition date and time for both of the programs that you wish to potentially participate in. We will email you to notify you of your audition date and time by January 31st. As you may know, participation in the audition process is mandatory and it will take place on select nights from 5 to 8 p.m. between Thursday, February 1st and Thursday, February 8th. Once auditions are complete, acceptance and denial notifications will then be viewable on your Focus Parent Portal on Thursday, February 15th. If you are accepted, you will need to submit your letter of intent for the program that you wish to major in via your Focus Parent Portal by Friday, February 23rd, in order to secure your seat within the Center for Arts and Media here at North. 
Since the application process is new for everyone this year, I would like to take a moment to walk you through the Google form that will allow you to select the date that you would like to audition. As previously mentioned, once you select the Center for Arts and Media for North Fort Myers High School on your special programs application, a link for a Google form will appear. Once you click on that link, it should pull up a document that looks similar to the one that you can see on your screen here. Please read through the requirements for applying, auditioning, and if accepted into one or more programs, accepting your seat at North for the Center for Arts and Media. Please fill out the Google form in its entirety. Most of the information is relatively basic. There's gonna be a spot for you to obviously indicate your name, your Lee County School District student ID number, uh, contact information, your present grade level in school, and just some other details um, about you and the applicant. Um, I do want to just take a moment to highlight the section for your email address and just remind you to please, please, please provide us with an email address that you check regularly. We do typically receive approximately 300 applications for just the Center for Arts and Media. So all communication regarding audition dates and time will be uh, conducted via email. Except in extreme circumstances, you will not receive a phone call confirming your audition date and time. These are the only dates that we have available for auditions for the 2024-25 school year. So it is imperative that you include an active email address that you check frequently. As you continue to scroll down, uh, through the first page of the Google form, you will be able to select one of the programs that you want to audition for. I do want to remind you that yes, you can apply and audition for up to two programs within the Center for Arts and Media. However, you will need to fill out two separate Google forms, one for each program. There will be a location on the special programs application that will allow you to select a second program to audition for if you would like to do so. Once you indicate that this is the case, the link for the Google form will once again appear, allowing you to fill out and submit a second form. Now, once you make your program selection, provided that all the required information is filled out, you will be able to proceed to the next page of the Google form. It should look something like, just pull this up very quickly, should look something like this. As I, uh, should look something like this. You can select your program and then that second page will show up. It's gonna look something similar to what you see on the right-hand side of your screen. As you can see, I selected theater as one of the programs that I would like to audition for. And after clicking next, next the dates for the theater auditions appeared on the next page. Make sure that you select the, um, the date that works best for you. As a reminder, the times for auditions will be between five and 8 p.m. Uh, for theater, as you can see, that's going to be between 5 and 8 p.m. on February 5th, and then 5 to 8 p.m. on February 6th. And the other departments will have different audition dates as well uh, between February 1st and February 8th. So whatever you select, when you pull up that next screen, it's going to give you those dates. And of course, those times are going to be somewhere between 5 and 8 p.m. Once you've made your selection, go ahead and click submit, and you should receive a confirmation on your screen indicating that you have submitted your Google form. If you would like, you can go ahead and take a screenshot of that uh, confirmation just so you kind of have it for your records. So if there's any complications or confusions, you can always send that to us as verification that you did submit your Google form um, you know, with your audition date request on it. As one final reminder, uh, we do want to um, let you know that you can apply an audition for up to two programs within the Center for Arts and Media. Um, there will be that location on the special programs application available via your Focus Parent Portal that's going to allow you to denote this. Once you make the selection, another link for the Google form will appear. You'll fill out that second Google form the same way that you filled out the first one, except this time you're going to indicate the second program that you would like to audition for. Um, and make uh, a selection for the audition date that works best for you and your family. Uh, as an important reminder, one more time, please use the same email address that you used on your first Google form that you submitted. This will help to ensure that there are no miscommunications regarding the audition dates and times for both of the programs that you wish to potentially participate in. 
I do hope hope that this uh, hope that this helps to provide some clarity. Please feel free to navigate through our arts and media information portal at your leisure. While we hope that we have been able to address the majority of your questions about the Center for Arts and Media, the programs that we offer, and the application and audition processes for each, you may still find that you have some questions within the next several days. I do want to point out that um, we will be hosting our annual Arts Info Night. That's going to be on Tuesday, January 9th. It uh, begins at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Um, there's going to be a short, just brief kind of review of what the application process and the audition process is going to look like. And then you will be able to kind of go into the campus and you'll be able to visit um, up to three different programs that you might be interested in applying for. Um, you'll get to meet the instructors, uh, hear a little bit from them about the program, maybe hear from some students who are, are involved in the program, um, and just hear maybe a little bit more about the audition process and what those instructors are looking for uh, from their potential incoming freshmen. So it's a really, really great opportunity if you want a little bit more information um, and you want to meet the instructors or if you're maybe unsure about one or more programs that you may or may not want to audition for. Um, so that's going to be Tuesday, January 9th. Uh, again, it starts at 6.30 p.m. and it begins in the auditorium and then takes place in various locations around the school. Um, you can also, if you are, you know, perhaps unable to attend uh, the Arts Info Night on January 9th, or maybe you just have some questions, you know, between now and, and then, you can feel free to contact me via email or by phone here at the school, and I'll be absolutely happy to answer any questions that you might have. Myself, Mrs. Diggs, and the rest of the North Fort Myers High School faculty and staff, we wish you the best of luck in your search, and we look forward to welcoming you into our Red Knight family in the future. Thank you.